Hey, this is Matt once again with about to another video. Paid request for Tyler. Thank you so much for that. For those interested in requesting any type of videos, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And I think I just watched one of the worst films. Why is it that lately, like, every other film I watch becomes, like, one of the worst films I've ever seen? Art is Underground Mortem, this movie. There's another movie coming up. So, it's directed by Giuseppe Andrews. This is a guy that, I guess, he lived in a trailer. Even though he made some money, he still, like, living that lifestyle because he's more comfortable with. He's probably more well-known as an actor. He was one of Randy Quaid's kids in Independence Day. Not the older one, but the younger uh, boy. He was also, if you remember the original Cabin Fever, the cop. You're the party man. You know, that cop, that's Giuseppe Andrews. So he directed this. It's one of the most poorly made, poorly produced films I've ever seen in my life. This looks like a terrible home movie where everything's either overexposed there are shots where people are talking you to winds up and this has some of the worst dialogue i've ever heard in a movie i mean well <laughs> haven't heard dialogue this past is under underground mortem but this is supposed to be like a love story not comedy? I don't know. And it's very, 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 like, try hard or raunchy. And I... I usually say this is made by a madman. A, an inept madman. It's about a 60-year-old lady, she's a widow, who falls in love with its at the top... And most of it takes place by their trailers. To try and describe this film, oh my god. I'm going to have a to describe this fucking movie, man. Bear with me. She has a fake elf or vaulting ear because supposedly her ear was bitten up by a pony. But then there's a shot later on where you clearly tell that the ear is so open you can see the real ear and she's got an earring on. I'm like, dude, really, really? You couldn't take 10 seconds and go, oh, can we close that ear up so... No, you don't leave it like here, so you see the ear and the, the earring. Okay. And she plays volleyball by herself, imagining that her husband, who's dead, is a ghost. Now, we don't see the ghost, I'm surprised. But she just, she says, it's never confirmed, but she says she's playing with her husband, the, the ghost. In other words, she's lonely and she's crazy and she's playing with herself in a volleyball sense. And that's top. He comes by and says, hey, I'm the guy who found your decomposing husband's body. That's what he says. And the acting here, I can't even call it acting. I would call it barely existing on, on uh, not even film. I don't even want to call it. On home movies. Oh. It, when you see the movie. It's on YouTube. Which I don't get why it's on YouTube. There's a lot of nudity in it. In the second half. They show you the trailer. And that will tell you what kind of movie you're getting in. When the movie starts, it's a guy, and I don't know how he relates to the story. Was he the ex cop? Was he someone else? He's talking to a placid duck with a toy gun. A placid duck with a toy gun. And then he gets in his tub and he's fishing in the toilet for the brown eyed 
pooper. And you see there's a turd in the toilet. And he's toilet fishing. What that has to do with the movie? <coughs> then you have the song. Whenever I'm... And I try to understand what the hit was saying. I think Giuseppe Andrews, the director, singing this song. Whenever I'm by other schlongs, I think of your sardine. Oh, and the chapters? Those chapters. Imagine if this was typed. And it's overexposed, so it looks like a nuclear winner. And it's in slow mo for some reason. And literally, the, the, someone's like. Like, okay, you just see the paper. I sure wrote it. And it's like. that That's how it is. That's how it is. For each chapter. And again, it's not even acting. Again, these people are barely existing. They're just saying there's lines of dialogue. And I kind of sit there going, man, I wonder how some of these people feel saying this dialogue, especially this sissy old woman. The sissy old woman that looks like your grandma saying stuff like, need a new dawn in my douche hole. But yeah, he says uh, when they first meet, I mean, she has this fake elf ear. <clears throat> Even though what you clearly see her real ear, that was bitten off. I'm the policeman that found your lover dead at the beach. He was there like a dead seal with flies. You could put a glass eye in a goose's ass. I turned to booze and whores. I turned her twat. And it's one of those scenes like a guy will be talking. And then he'll cut to he's talking to me he's over here. Then he'll cut then he's over here. So it's like every line they say. He edits. The director edits. So if I'm uh. I don't know if if I'm reading. Give me a random thing to read. Is this really what it is? <clears throat> news. So what's on the news? A business owner's guide to Google and Yahoo updates. Sure. Most beauty and grooming businesses rely on email for marketing, or as a communication touch point for their clients. Cut. That means they'll probably be impacted by recent major updates. Cut. Google and Yahoo are made it to the email spam filtering policies. Cut. The good news is many of these updates or policies are fulfilled by competent email vendors. Cut. Other updates will... The, the whole movie, like every other line they say, it cuts. Because these are not professional actors, so they could not say the full line and there's no retakes. Just, ah, cut. Just say the next line. <clears throat> and the dialogue, I just sit there and go, what is this guy doing with his dialogue? The old lady stops smoking, she'll, she'll do this party favor, pew, as a cigarette, pew. And the dialogue is like, smells like you ate a cum filled burrito. My asshole behaved itself and didn't let no farts out. You draw men in like fly to shit, then you eat them. If you're not there, then you're not at the place to be, because my fart is really good today. Your skin is a pair of pants I slip on and off. Your eyes are a hat I Steam dry and restore. 
I, 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 I was writing to the point, I think I gave up writing. Your eyes are had I steam dry and restore. I'm like, wait, your eyes are had I steam dry and your skin's a pair of pants I slip on and off? Are you Ed Dean or are you Jeffrey Dahmer? And it's it's just these two. <clears throat> then her her hus her dead husband's dad enters the picture for a bit. But it's mostly these two kind of talking and trying to have a relationship. Where the I mean the, the dialogue is out there. In the direction of the film, there are times where one of the people gets a phone call and the backdrop is so overexposed, it does look like a nuclear bomb went up right behind them. And again, it's like uh, she doesn't want to go out with him because she's afraid, but he's like, Hey, what did I do wrong? Then they do go out, then they enjoy each other. And then they tell like these weird stories. I just, like, all I have to do is like the dialogue. You don't need Navy SEALs to get me out of your ocean. I drank so much wine I can bend over and shit through a keyhole. And the old lady tells a story about her getting crabs at prom. I like being fucked by unprotected doms. Fill my slot with unprotected cock. This is a six-year-old, again, this is like, if you're grand, and I'm sitting there going, and, like, she's talking like she doesn't know what she's saying, but obviously she's 60 years old, so she does, but I kind of just have to sit there, where is this poor lady at in her life that she has to say this dialogue, that she decides to say this dialogue, which is just embarrassing for the person? But she chose it, so it's hard to feel sorry for her, but that's what I'm sitting there going, where is this person in their life? And if it's a relative of Giuseppe Andrews, why would you get her to say this? And if it's not, really? Like, you thought, you looked at this script and go, yep, yeah, this is a script for me? I mean, it makes Rob Zombie sound like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood. And then you get to see, especially old people nudity, especially the guy. So there's a shower, and you see the guy's dick, and there's 60 year old sex talk. And then the guy's like, I hope you don't stop sucking my swatter. And then what happens is then for some reason she decides not to go out with that guy and she's going out with this other guy, which is her husband's dad, which is weird, or her dead husband's dad. And then she's like, we'll flip a coin. But then the, the ex-cop you find out wasn't really ever a cop, so she wants nothing to do with him. Then he, he stays with another guy. Then there's a bit where he takes drugs. And there's another guy, this older guy, who's like skeleton-like and just gets naked. You see all of him, which I don't need to see, and go blind. And they're doing drugs. And then they're doing stuff with... They clean themselves and they blow dry their balls like literally uh, psh, blow dry the balls and then I guess like the 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 cop and not cop just gets a lot of stuff taken away and he's, all he's left with is a towel I guess the one guy the father of the dead husband 
died from a spider bite. So our lead guy goes up to her and says, hey, can we make it work again? And then they start playing volleyball. And then the movie's over. I mean, the, the dialogue is, I mean, th there's not a single good thing I can say about this movie. Maybe if... There may be people that could watch this and laugh at it by how bad it is. I could see that being the case. That it's so bad, it's good, that it's hilarious. Because you just hear the dialogue. And you hear the way these people talk. How monotone they are. How lifeless they are. How shoddy it's shot. How overexposed. How everything. And you can maybe get a laugh out of. Aside from the old man dick but I just sit here and go what a waste of time to have this movie be a reality and there are times like there there's only very few films of so bad as good that I can enjoy There are. Sauna Dylan and I too. Samurai Cop. Don't Go in the Woods. There may be a few others. But I don't usually even give that a pass because Well not the case of this, but you know, there are some that just I see movies that are sincerely well made. With good casts or good acting or pretty good story or some well done effects. And they get like nothing in terms of respect or they get undervalued. And then you see other films that get more praise or more talk, more chatter because they're so bad as good. I'm like, well, yeah, that may be the case. But this film, I think, sincerely deserves more because that one, I see the effort put in. Here, I don't want to give anything praise when I see no effort in anything. I see zero effort, zero effort in anything, not in terms of editing, not in terms of acting, not in terms of dialogue. This was absolutely garbage. All you have to do is watch the first two minutes. I think the first two minutes, I don't think there's, I don't know if there's a duty in the first two minutes. Again, I, it's funny, YouTube gets so mad at other stuff, but then, you know, this movie can have nudity and be perfectly fine. And apparently this guy, Giuseppe Andrews, disappeared. Hey, what can I say? If I made these movies, I'd fucking disappear too, so. Maybe he knew. He's like, I made these movies? Oh my god. I gotta disappear. Witness protection program for directors. Maybe there should be one. I did. If I made these movies, I'd disappear too. So. My, my, my pen flew off because I was just like literally some bitch. My tap on my pen flew off. I'm done. Should be a temperature stick up my ass later.